I think as a owner of a small and, and growing business, one faces all the standard pressures of sales, cash flows, managing your inventories, customer relationships and supplier relationships. But I think uh, for myself, uh, over the years that we've run the business, we've also had a lot of other external things that, that come in. We've had, uh, my daughter last year had leukemia. Um, so that was a pressure that came in, we had to deal with and, and work through. We've had partnerships, uh, we've had uh, partnerships and they went through a, a massive divorce and breakup. So that introduces a lot of pressure into the business, uh, which it has to be absorbed. I think the major issue is the buck stops entirely with that, that person or with just one or two people. Whereas in a, in a larger business, there's usually, whatever the issue is, there's a department for that. So I think um, small business owners feel a tremendous amount of pressure. Uh, as well, they're dealing with issues that they may not be uh, fully expert in. So people go into business because they're maybe an, an, an expert in um, kitchen fit outs or kitchen design or physiotherapy or something quite unrelated to the other uh, issues that they are responsible for. So there's a big learning curve um, and, and no backup. I always think it's a little bit like um, being a single parent in a way, but having a very uh, demanding large family with complex issues and, uh, and no family to back you up. We've faced some of the personal challenges. Uh, we've had financial partners that are not just supplying us with financial services, but we see them as our business partners. Um, so that was a, a really a great uh, stress relief to have someone that understands what you're going through and be able to support you um, on that journey. And then I think having the support of a great staff, a great team um, that understand you're going through the good times, but also a, a team that when you hit the tough times, when you hit the obstacles, that are able to really support you as an owner and, and rise to the challenge and help carry you uh, through that time was fundamental for me. Cash flow is, is king. You will survive with cash flow. You know, I, I think the best example that uh, I could possibly give is uh, my father-in-law. My father-in-law is a builder. Um, he was struggling with his cash flow you know, th through uh, a certain period of time. He, he, uh, he was struggling to get his cash in, therefore he was holding his cash back to try and manage his own position. So we did a bit of a reverse swing on how he started paying uh, his suppliers. So we started paying early uh, and that early payment uh, allowed those suppliers to get their payments paid early. And the flow on effect from that was uh, when he needed support from those suppliers, they were the first to drop everything and get him the product that he needed. They helped him uh, through uh, contracts that he wasn't going to win because he couldn't supply in time. And this gave him the opportunity to lean on the, his suppliers and help him out you know, with timing. And, and because he was paying and changed that whole mentality about how to pay and when to pay. So it's about cash flow. And if you can uh, have that relationship uh, with your business supporters, you know, that, that's where it will start to work. I think the other thing as, a, as an entrepreneur, you're always projecting a, a uh, attitude of success and you're driving, you're looking forward. And so I think for a lot of owners to actually put up their hand and admit that they need help uh, can be quite a tough obstacle to, to overcome just in their own state of mind recognizing that they need help and then once they have that recognition to find the appropriate channels and the appropriate organizations and people that can address those issues. Small businesses there's it's the complexity and the myriad of different government things or private sector things you can go and access is is very very difficult to navigate and so what we do is we enable, we'll understand what your particular issue is. Um, we can either handle that issue directly for you by uh, contacting a business you've got trouble with, say it's a, a payment time dispute, you haven't got paid on time and you haven't managed to chase the payment um, to actually be paid. Um, we can do things like writing to the CEO of the company and, and finding out what the problem is. Uh, we can also go in and talk to various government departments 
um, and, and again find out if there's something that we can do to um, make the situation a bit better. Um, we also undertake mediation 